discovery in Mexico outside the northern city of Monterrey. Police say authorities have found the remains of at least 49 people there. Mexican state media report that the bodies were in plastic trash bags that had been dumped along a highway. Journalist Jan Grio joins us now on the line from Mexico City with more on this. Uh, what do we know? What happened? Well, yeah, a very uh, extraordinary and gruesome discovery following a couple of weeks uh, of pretty horrific massacres. I mean, it started around 2.30 in the morning. The uh, local uh, emergency authorities got some phone calls about some disturbance on a road, on a main major highway from Monterrey, Mexico's big industrial city, to the U.S. border. Now, when they went down to the road, they saw this enormous pile of black garbage bags and the cut-up remains of the victims inside. The military, the federal police all turned up there, uh, and it took a while to count and identify the number of bodies. I mean, counting 49 bodies, and sometimes the corpses are very heavily mutilated. Now, we do have information that on the scene, there was a note from a drug cartel with some kind of threat. We don't know which cartel yet, but it obviously had all the signs of these kind of terrifying, horrific killings. This, however, sets a new record. I mean, we've seen 25 bodies, 35 bodies, but 49 sets a new record for these kind of crimes. Well, I want to ask you about that because I can't imagine what it's like to live around there knowing that these kinds of crimes, mass graves, disfigured remains are, are growing, well, not that uncommon. I mean, yeah, really horrific. And uh, uh, sorry if, if it's very loud here. I'm just at the airport now, but it's about to get a plane to Monterrey. I'll be going to the morgue to try and talk to families of these victims and find out who these people are. Because one very worrying thing is, you know, although you know, they say these are just bad guys killing bad guys, it's very hard to know. Now, there's a similar massacre to this just a few days ago outside the city of Guadalajara. In that case, they started to identify some victims, and I found among them a 20-year-old student and a waiter who, who, who was going to go off to his, uh, his shift to wait in a restaurant uh, and was kidnapped and next turned up in one of these scenes. So sometimes you, know, you worry that the drug cartels could be just picking up innocent victims and using them to make a point. And that's a big concern. Now, you know, you say what it's like to live in these communities. I mean, these communities, you know, it's very hard psychologically on people. I mean, just trying to get by the day to day, um, you know, picking up your kids from school and this kind of thing, caring about your family with these kind of terrifying actions happening. Ian Grio on the line for us from Mexico City.